Hello! In this video, we will be solving this nested floor functions, which asks for the solutions for this uh, nested, uh, sorry, three, three layer nested floor function, and this value should be equal to 125. Before actually proceeding to solving this one, let's try to solve something simpler. Let's suppose we are solving for the value or values of x such that x times floor x is equal to um, 5. Now, as an approximation, we can start by assuming x as an integer because that's the closest we can uh, start with. So if this, is x, uh, if this is an integer, then this becomes x squared. So x squared is equal to 5, which gives you x is 5, somewhere, uh, somewhere close to uh, square root of 5. Therefore, our x should be close to square root of 5. The closest integer to square root of 5 is, uh, well, it's between 2 and 3. So for this one, we start by assuming x to be between 2 and 3. So what's the implication of that? That implies that the floor of x is equal to 2. Gets? So if you plug it in here, x times the floor of x is 2 is equal to 5. So x is equal to 5 halves. Gets? And then if we, if we try to substitute it here, just to check, 5 halves times the floor of 5 halves, floor of 5 halves is 2, so that becomes 5 halves times 2, which obviously is 5. Yet, actually, uh, for this one, you can also try for the value where, where x is negative, and it's between uh, negative 3 and negative 2. But uh, I leave that up to you. Uh, I'll just I just use that as an example, and for this problem, we also try to do the same. Let's suppose x is an integer to to start to make an initial estimate. So this gives you since there are four x, x to the fourth is equal to 125. So this means that x must be between three and four. If we look at the negative counterpart of this, this means that x is between negative four and negative 3 gets why why is this so because if we get the 3 to the 4th that's 81 and then 4 to the 4th is 256 similar to this one is 81 this is 256 which is which embeds or envelopes our 125 so similar to this one we suppose uh, we let x is equal to uh, let x between uh, 3 and 4. We'll do the positive case muna. So let's uh, consider case positive. So this means that the floor of x is equal to 3. And to solve this uh, nested radical, we do it uh, one layer at a time. That's why for this one, we started with this floor and then multiplied with this one. For this one, we start with this innermost and then multiply it with this one and then work our way outside. Yet, Okay, for this one, since x, is equal, uh, uh, since x is between 3 and 4, then floor of x is equal to 3 and furthermore, or more, x is equal to 3 plus k, where k is some um, a real number between 0 and 1. So in other words, k is your fractional part of x. Okay, so this becomes, this one, the floor of x, floor x is equal to, since x is 3 plus k, so this is 3 plus k, and then floor of x is 3, this becomes floor of 9 plus 3k. Now this can have uh, three values. Why? Because if k is between 0 and 1 third, then this one, the floor of this one is 1 third times 3, 1, so it's as most minus and as low as 0. So this one is 9. The floor is 9 if k is between this. On the other hand, if k is between 1 third and 2 thirds, this one becomes at most 2 thirds, so that uh, becomes 10. And finally, this can also be 11 if k is between 2 thirds and 1. Yet, let's suppose 
k is between 0 and 1 third. So this becomes 10. So this becomes 10. So 10. So if, if we look back here, your x is at most 3 plus 1 third, which is 3 plus 1 third, that's 10 thirds. So 10 thirds times 10 thirds times, oh sorry, this becomes 9, times 9, which is uh, 100. So at best, I'm not, I'm not yet uh, evaluating the floor functions, at best, this case gives you only 100. So it won't satisfy this uh, 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 value. So in other words, we just eliminate this case. Next, we proceed to the case when k is between one-thirds and two-thirds. So uh, similarly, this becomes 10, and then this is at most two-thirds. So nine, uh, 3 plus two-thirds, that's 11 over 3. 11 over 3 times 11 over 3 times is at most 10. So this is 121 times or over 9 times 10. Hmm, this is roughly this roughly 1.1. So this gives you roughly around 100. What's this? 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1. I'm just making an estimate. 1, 3, 3.1. See, this gives you roughly about around 1, 3, 3.1. So this means that your uh, case here, if, if it's between here, it's from 100 up to 133.1. So 125 is between this interval, which means that this is the case we're looking for. Do we have to check for this one? No, because if if, uh, if this is uh, 133, then this is at least 133. This case will give you at least 133, which is obviously uh, greater than this one. So this will not give you what, we, what you want. So therefore, your k is between 1 thirds and 2 thirds, and this value here is equal to uh, 10. So simplifying that, so this that becomes uh, mm, x times floor x times uh, well this becomes uh, ten now ten is equal to one hundred twenty five. So this this case here simplifies to ten. Yes. Okay. So we again do the same since x is still three plus k. 3 plus k times 10 equals uh, x times 30 plus 10k is equal to 125. Again, we have something like this. This is the case a while ago. You can have many values for this one as well, uh, depending on where k is. k is between uh, 0, to, 0 over 10 to 1 over 10. 1 over 10 to 2 over 10. But I won't list up them, all of them. Why? Because we have already established that k is between 1 thirds and 2 thirds. So if the denominator is 10, that's just equivalent to saying that k is between uh, 3 over 10 and 7 over 10. Because uh, this one is 10 over 3, that's 3. And then this is 2 thirds, 0. 0.6, or roughly 0. 0.67. Uh, so this gives you 7 over 10, this is the upper bound. Okay, so if this is the case, if we're looking for this one, this one is, uh, sorry, let's uh, do the case by case. If between three, 3 over 10 and 4 over 10 is equal to 33, and then if 4 over 10 to 5 over 10, that gives you 34, and then k okay, 5 over 10, 6 over 10, 35. I'm just uh, doing some uh, listing here. So uh, do you get why I, I, I am achieving these values? Because I'm just plugging in this uh, fractional parts to k and then getting the floor of that. Gets? Okay, so what happens now is we check uh, which is which. For example, if k is 
uh, three over, between 3 over 10, in this case, this is 33. And then your x is at most uh, 3.4. So 3.4 times 3.3, .3, that's going to give you no, roughly just 112. So this one is not the case. This gives you only 112, so that's not a value. If k is between 4 over 10, 5 over 10, this is this x is at most uh, 3 plus 5 over 10, so it's at most 3.5 times 34. 35 times 3.5 times 34, that's 145, 105, 119. So that's also not the case. So 119, we're looking for 125, so that's why it's not uh, the answer. Uh, next one, if it's 35, 35, this one is 3.6 at best. So it's going to give you 3.6 times 35, um, 180, and it's around 126. It's 100, around 126 for this one. So it, it means that this is the case we're looking for. Because this one, remember, is 119, this is 126, so it must be between uh, this case, 5 over 10 to 6 over 10. Yes? Gets, gets, gets. Okay, so this one simplifies to 35. So this means that our equation is then equal to x times 35. It's equal to 125. What's left is to simplify this one x times 125 over 35, cancel 5, so this is 25 over 7. I'll just have to write this is, is, uh, as a mixed number, 3 and 4 over 7. Is 3, 3 and 4 over 7 between, is 4 over 7 between 5 over 10 and 6 over 10? 4 over 7, that's uh, around 56. So around 0.56, so definitely between uh, 5 over 10 and 6 over 10. So this must be the answer. Yes. So let's check nothing for this uh, equation. So this one is, let's start from the inside. Uh, floor of 25 over 7, that's 3. So this is 3. 3 times 25 over 7. 3 times 25 over 7. So that's 75 over 7. So that's roughly 10. And then 10 times 25 over 7, 250 over 7. So that's uh, 3, 21, 40, 35, roughly around 35. So 35 times 25 over 7, that's um, 525. So the correct answer is 25 over 7. Yes? Yes. Pero yung problem natin dito is, this is not the only answer. In fact, there is another one, which is for the case when it's negative. Ito yun. Between negative 3 and negative 4. So the case, the, the solution is very similar to this one. So magi case to case basis lang kayo and then you can find the actual value of x. But as this video is quite long already, I'm leaving that uh, problem to you. If you are able to find the answer, the negative answer, let me know in the comment section. Okay? That's it for this video and if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and watch out for my next videos. Bye-bye!